Today I'm going to tell you about a fantastic new product called Gel It In and if you say it fast enough it sounds like gelatin which is exactly what it is a version of. Now this is a vegetarian uh, gelatin powder. Traditional gelatin actually is made from animals and there are a lot of people obviously who, would, who don't want to use that because they're vegetarian. So that leaves it quite difficult to make things like panna cottas, uh, custards, set custards, blamanges, um, a whole host of different things that require gelatin to make them set. This is perfect for you but I would like to bet my life on it that once you've used this product you actually won't go back to real gelatin again. That might be different for pastry chefs because they have mastered the art of gelatin but in my experience I find gelatin quite difficult to use. Uh, I find it doesn't always dissolve. If I'm working with something like a, a cream mixture and I add my gelatin to it what ends up happening, no matter how much I whisk, I always find the granules still in the bottom when I'm pouring it out into the moulds. And I've never come across um, a brand of gelatin, the animal variety, that has enabled me to completely dissolve it. Well, that's not the case with this. Gel it in dissolves perfectly in cold liquid. Now you do need about 200 mils of liquid to dissolve it in and each one of the little sachets, they come in sachets, I haven't seen whether or not they actually come in a pack where you can measure it out, but they come in these little sachets which are about this size and each of these holds enough to set 200 mils of liquid. Now you do need to heat it, so even if whatever it is that you're making is actually a cold dessert, you're going to need to heat the liquid first, even if your recipe does not call for it. So that's an important thing to remember. The instructions are very, very easy. So let's say you're making a recipe and there are 600 mils of liquid in there, you're going to need three of these. But you can put all three of them into 200 mils of liquid and heat that and then add the rest of the cold liquid to it to make it up and then pop that into the fridge. So it's cold when it goes into the fridge, which is going to serve two purposes because one, it's going to set quicker because it's cold and two, it's also not going to make anything else in your fridge heat up because it's hot. So just remember that you need 200 mils to set the gelatin in before you then mix it with the rest of your ingredients. Now it dissolves beautifully just with a whisk, I mean you could do it with a fork I'm sure, but I actually did it with a whisk and I added it to my panna cotta mixture and I found as well, firstly the setting time was so much faster than normal gelatin, so that in itself was a major plus. So if you're running out of time and you want to make something, for example for dinner tonight, and you don't have three or four hours for it to set, this is the answer to your prayers. So that's the other great thing about it. And secondly, the ease of using this I just found, the fact that it's completely measured out for me and it's exactly for 200 mils works perfectly. Now the other thing that they also say on this which I think is quite a good thing and they do give you some advice about adapting your recipe. So that's a great thing, not all products do that, they sort of expect you to figure it out for yourself but they've gone to the trouble of actually doing that. So if you're using this with a recipe that um, you know, uses traditional gelatin then this will tell you exactly what you need to do with it. So if you haven't already tried Gel It In, I suggest you give it a go. It really is worthwhile and I bet my life that you will definitely change over to this and not use traditional gelatin again, especially if you're an amateur cook like me rather than a professional cook. Pastry chefs might be completely different. I'd be really interested if you give it a go to let me know how you go, what you think of it and definitely let Queen know because I'm sure they would love it as well. You can go to their website or you can go to their Facebook page. They are really, really quick with answering your questions and they also love for you to comment. So go to their Facebook page and tell them what you think of Gel It In. See you next time. I'm Victoria Hansen.